What is the theory behind the Q-ray bracelet? Before understanding the theory behind Q-ray, there has to be an understanding of the traditional Chinese medicine theory, or TCM. The central principle of TCM is to examine the yin and yang, or bioenergy, balance in your body. Excess or deficient or imbalance of bioenergy leads to disease. When the bioenergy is balanced, your body is in an optimal state and achieves a state of qi, where there is an overall sense of health and wellness. Bioenergy flows through the body via channels called meridians. There are 14 meridians throughout the body. Within the 14 meridian channels, there are approximately 360 acupuncture points that act as pathways for bioenergy. Simply put, an acupuncturist will not insert an acupuncture needle randomly into the body. There are certain points in the body along the 14 meridian channels where the metallic acupuncture needle will be inserted. When a metallic acupuncture needle is inserted into the acupuncture points, the body is restored to balance through regulation of the bioenergy. One end of the needle acts as a ground and the other end acts as a regulator. When the bioenergy in the body is regulated from the body and the body bioenergy in balance, then the body is in a state of qi. The heart meridian runs through the lower part of the left wrist. The LI meridian and the LU meridian flow on the upper part of the right wrist. This is why the Q-ray bracelet is worn on the right wrist with the opening placed over the LI and the LU meridian or the Q-ray bracelet is worn on the left wrist with the opening placed over the heart meridian. All of the Q-ray bracelets are C-shaped for a reason. Just like how an acupuncture needle has a ground and a regulator, one end of the Q-ray terminal acts as a ground and the other terminal acts as a regulator. The principle of Q-ray is the same as that of TCM, which is to balance the bioenergy in your body and achieve a state of chi. Q-Ray, Q the positive.